Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, we have a very unique setup that's coming that's going to bring a lot of flooding and some severe weather. Two storms that's forming up. Now, we have one forming up now over the East Coast, and that's not what this outlook is for. This is actually about a week away, plus what's going on with over here in the MDR. This is still going just like Lee did, a big turn, just like what Nigel is doing. But we do have something coming later September, early October, in our tropics i'm update you on everything on today's video so make sure you subscribe i am all year along that way you get all the updates now let's get into your information so your latest update on disturbance two over here right along the east coast is still at 30 percent and it's talking about later this week this is going to form this is going to form sometime from thursday through saturday and over here what we have disturbance one it is up to 70 percent now in the next seven days still showing this is going right here on this region just like it was expected to and probably curve around what's forming after that is what we need to watch out for and you can see hurricane nigel is, is expected to become a major hurricane as it turns right on around just like we expected now you can see any chance just for a tropical depression in six days as we go saturday into sunday it's going to start growing for a chance for a tropical depression to form right off the east coast it will be a front induced low not showing a lot of strength but it is going to come around for a few days and in 10 days you can see a disturbance in the mdr is going to come around towards the lesser antilles and start turning and you see that shot best here in six and seven days it's going to start going to the west and it's going to get weaker in 10 days and start turning around just like lee did but what we have to watch out for is in 10 days when it starts making this curve northward, whether it could go into the eastern Pacific or whether it can go into the western Caribbean, maybe something swinging around to our Gulf. Because all these systems are swinging around just like this one is, just like Nigel, just like Lee. All of them are swinging around as we go through the rest of this month and into October. So as it goes into October, this could swing around wide. But the sea surface temperatures right along the east coast it has not been affected by any of these past hurricanes we have. You see all the cooler waters that got stirred up before. But this is still warm enough where it will keep these thunderstorms riding all the way to the northeast. But you can see both of these coming to fruition when you look at your vorticity. So you see we have that big storm that's coming in as we go through Thursday. As this starts to build up for Thursday and Friday, we started getting a little group of disorganized thunderstorms still forming off the southeast remember i told you about this a few days ago as this big storm comes into the center of the u.s and potentially gets blocked by a high pressure a big high jet stream going up into canada and it just stays there and revolves for a few days bringing a lot of rainfall with it as this first system just rides right up the east coast and all this rainfall on the eastern side just keeps going right into the east coast all week long and it is trending guys you can see this on the euro as well you got this big nasty system starting to come in while this big group of thunderstorms while you have this stalled front a big stalled front coming in pulling all this moisture up while it's pushing down on that front and that little twist is enough to get a little surface low a little group of disorganized thunderstorms rotating around and maybe try and strengthen up as it goes right through those warmer waters while we get that system across the central of the U.S. that is showing that it is going to get blocked by a high pressure and just sit there and spin for a few days, bringing at least a lot of rainfall. But I'm seeing a lot of the dew points going right towards the center of the U.S. from south to north. So I think there could be some severe weather involved with that, maybe some damage and winds that come in a little bit later. But you can see just on the precipital water that you have this storm brewing up in the center of the U.S. at the same time while you have it brewing up over the southeast. So all these storms are just going to stay from south to north right here while you have this brewing up over the east coast, bringing all the thunderstorms all along the, the east coast right there. Just all along it from all up to I-95 corridor, all that precipitation going while you have these storms brewing up in the center of the U.S. and it gets a little block over that high pressure and just stays there and spins. And we actually get a front that comes down while we go into Saturday. And this could be a little spark of our severe weather as that kicks into play for Saturday and Sunday. Now, so far, it just stays there for a few days, bringing a lot of rainfall before it finally gets kicked out by another system. But it is bringing some good chances for flash flooding and maybe some damage and winds. I think there will be some severe weather outlooks for this. But there's multiple things that's going on here. So you can see with the dew points, how it brews up all your dew points. Puts a lot of particulates in the atmosphere from the south central all the way to the upper Midwest for a few days, creating your storms. 
also along the East Coast. As that spins up, it brings some strong dew points with it as well all along the East Coast. And this will bring chances for tornadoes to rip all up this East Coast as that system moves up the East Coast with strong dew points, guys. So even though it's not showing like a strong hurricane coming towards y'all, this revolving around an atmosphere will be bringing these bands right across the East Coast and it will bring you the chances for tornadoes just like a rain band from a hurricane coming close. Plus, at the same time, we're going to have this system right in the center of the U.S. causing problems as well. Now, so far, when you look at the rainfall, this is a 10 day and 10 days always change. So don't take 10 days of heart from anywhere that you see five days change. But just get an average of what we're looking at. You can see with the Euro that it's bringing a lot of rainfall towards the south and upper Midwest on that system. But the system going up the coast is bringing a lot of rainfall towards the northeast. And that's not what national weather center and weather prediction center is seen now you can see with the gfs the gfs not only the first system in the center of the u.s the one along the coast you're bringing it towards southern florida which is right because you have this stalled front and it's going to bring all them thunderstorms all the time pulling all that tropical moisture but it gets heavy as you go from north carolina virginia towards the mid-atlantic right here instead of the northeast and the euro had nothing for right here so when you look and see what's trending, you look at the Canadian bringing in a third one. The third one is also showing that instead of being nothing, that it will be heavy for North Carolina and Virginia. Matter of fact, if you look at Outlook from National Weather Service, you'll see from the next 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook that you will be above average right here in the northwest. You'll be above average all the way from south to north from that next storm. And you're going to be above average from North Carolina, Virginia towards the mid-Atlantic going towards the northeast, not only for the northeast. So that would make GFS and Canadian right over what the Euro sees right now. Now that's subject to change. Now you look at the next five to seven days, you can see the Weather Prediction Center. Also Southern Florida, because you have that stalled front bringing all that precipitation. Now all that red to that orange is all three to five plus inches of rainfall. A lot of serious flooding that's going to be coming with that. You also see it for Northeastern Florida, also all up the coast anywhere from two to three inches in that purple to three to five plus inches in that red to that orange. For North Carolina, Virginia, Southern Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, going all across Northeast and New England states. This is gonna bring a lot of flooding, not just to mention this storm, this one as well. Matter of fact, we already have an outlook for heavy precipitation. You have a slight risk from the 23rd all the way to the 24th and the 25th. The 24th right here for that first system and the 25th for that system that's growing up on the East Coast. And expecting some high winds. You already have a slight risk out for the 23rd through the 25th for that system growing up in the center of the U.S., guys. Now, so far, National Weather Service don't have anything out for the severe weather for that big storm, but they will be. For today, so far, all they have is a 5% risk that's coming out with a chance for winds for today. Here's your cities and states at risk. For tomorrow, you have chances for winds again, and it is growing 5% and now a 15% chance. Here's your cities and states at risk for the high winds for tomorrow. You also have chances for large hair, at least 2 inches in diameter in this black. This is for tomorrow, for Tuesday. So here's your cities and states at risk for Tuesday for large hail. And the largest hail is going to be the white line on top. And it also will spread to Wednesday. Wednesday, you have another 5% chance for severe weather. So far, here's your cities and states at risk. Now, remember, this storm is coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Plus, still expecting from late September to early October, something forming up in the Western Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, the Eastern Pacific. I can see the Eastern Pacific, but we still have that chance for that one coming to the Western Caribbean, going around that high pressure, maybe getting into our Gulf. I'm still seeing it in the ensembles. So after this next one is going through the MDR, goes to that Northwest and goes around just like Nigel did, just like Lee did, but more like Nigel, not close like Lee. That's what this section will be for. This section over here is what's coming after that. And you can see that our favorable conditions will be from the 27th in our region. It will go through the beginning of October and start moving towards the MDR once we go towards the 10th of October. So you can see here from the Euro that once we get into the beginning of the 20s that we do have something weak still coming through our section. Something stronger definitely coming in the beginning of October. Definitely can see that this is going into the Eastern Pacific. Now we have some convection, we have some lift, some favorable environment in our section at that time. This won't be as strong as what's forming in the Eastern Pacific. 
But we still have something very strong coming October 20th right in our region still showing that true so this that's in the mdr will be going around just like nigel's doing just like lee pretty much did but after this we're going to get something forming up in the eastern caribbean the western mdr and that is going to go west as well now whether that goes into the pacific whether it goes right here into the western caribbean still remains to be seen now you can see in the ensembles that that system is still going right over puerto rico it is going to turn just like nigel more than likely but maybe once we go into late September, early October, something can form in the Eastern Pacific, something can form into our Gulf of Mexico, Western Caribbean that could be swinging around this high pressure, could be giving us issues, guys. And there's even a scenario where this is going just like Nigel, curving around the one we have in the MDR now, that all this lift, all this favorable environment going towards the Central America as we go towards the end of September, beginning of October, could brew up something big, right in the Western Caribbean, right towards our Gulf. And so far, that's right where it's expected to grow, right at the end of September to beginning of October. Now, real quick before you go, Psalm 143, 8 through 11, just a little bit of spiritual food before you go through your day for today. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. For thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. Amen. And remember, all glory always goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And may he bless you and keep you safe every day of your life, you and your families. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen.